So my stepmom's daughter is my ex. At first glance, Tamiona draws some comparisons to Domestic Girlfriend. I don't know why. It's almost like they have the same base plot idea or something. I don't know. Crazy. But no, it lacks all the things that make that show good besides the primal urge to slam your stepsister down on the couch. Now, if I actually had to compare it to a show, I would say it's more like Kaguya-sama or Love is War if Sunshin Academy was just Alabama University. And if you don't believe that statement, I'm gonna open your eyes up just how they open their sister's so in My Stepmom's Daughter is My Ex, we follow Mizudo and Yumi, which back in middle school, these two super socially awkward preteen bundle of hormones started to date, and it was amazing. They'd go to the library, read books together, they'd go to each other's houses and hang out. They made each other really happy. That was until all the little things piled up, boiled over, and then they broke up and went their separate ways. But out of all those times they went to each other's house, they never met the other person's parents and that would prove to be a fatal mistake just like how your fatal mistake is not clicking the subscribe button because obviously you're enjoying the video if you're still watching at this point so go ahead and like and subscribe so you can see more videos in mind that you might like and you know typically after a breakup you never want to see that person again because it's going to be awkward at the very least you may not even like that person at all you may like hate them now so living with them is just kind of out of the question so they spend the entire first episode just trying to get under each other's skin and one thing leads to another and they try and declare who the older sibling is but since they're born on the same day they have to come up with a game that whoever acts non-sibling like has to do whatever the other person says and say that they are the older child calling them oni or one chan and yumi immediately loses and calls mizudo oni chan and then he literally gets riled up Yumi wasn't going to take this laying down though, you know, as one does in the bath, she has a thought process of, I'm going to try and make him act non-sibling like by sitting in the same room with him in just a towel with my anime knockers halfway out. What do you think is going to happen? What, why would she ever do this? She literally trips, falls, and then he catches and slams her on the couch, leans over, starts to lean in, he says, forget the rules, literally. And then they almost have a, what are you doing, step bro moment. But don't worry, the parents came home, they ruined the moment, nothing happened, except at the end of the episode, they realized after this little moment that they're falling for each other again. So in my mind, I'm like, awesome, yeah, we're gonna have another love is war. They're gonna have mental warfare with each other because they have to act non-sibling-like for the game, but at the same time, they're still falling for each other. False. In the first four episodes, the game has only mattered one other time, and it's a doozy. The other incident, in the third episode, Yumi is shown sniffing Mizuto's underwear, then imagines him spanking her as she calls him Oni-chan. Just let that, just let it sink in. She doesn't want to get caught being unsibling late, so she stays up super late at night and tries to sneak his underwear back into his room. When she walks out, she also sees him walking out with her bra. So just imagine what was going on in his room. So now they both have a freebie to using each other for being unsibling like Now let's talk side characters, specifically this piece of work, Minami. She befriends Yumi at school, but by staring at her chest, which apparently isn't a red flag, and she becomes so obsessed with her that she sneaks into their home and places a fifth chair at their dinner table and then asks Mizuto to marry her so she can become family with Yume. So Mizuto asks this guy how to deal with Minami because he knew Minami before all of this situation. So you know what his advice was? Go on a date with your sister. What does this solve? What problem does it solve? Please tell me we never ask this guy for advice ever again. Please tell me we just don't speak to him anymore. So Mizuto follows this horrendous advice and uses his freebie to take his stepsister on a date. And she can't figure out what in the world is going on because she doesn't know Minami is a weird stalker girl. So he's creating this gigantic cloud of confusion in her head like does he like me? Is he making a move on me? And shockingly, this didn't solve any of his problems because Minami still wants to marry him. And in my honest opinion of this show, I really had my hopes up after the first episode. I thought it was going to be something super similar to Love is War where they have strategic mental warfare with each other, but instead of trying to get each other to admit that they love the other one, they're trying to spite each other and assert dominance in the family dynamic by trying to become the older sibling. Then they started sniffing each other's underwear and I knew it was a lost cause. 
The art's pretty average, and honestly, so is the rest of the show in my opinion. It had a really strong opening episode, and it hasn't really impressed me since. It's been pretty forgettable. I actually had to re-watch the first four episodes just to write my script for this video. Overall, I'm gonna give this show like a 6 out of 10. It has some funny stuff in it, I'm not gonna lie, it did make me laugh, but I think most of his comedy seems to come from shock value by how weird the show gets sometimes, aka them sniffing each other's underwear. I think if they would rely on the game they spent the first episode setting up more then it could be better but they don't seem to want to use it much and it takes backseat to most other things like how they're falling back in love with each other or their jealousy or stalker girl. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. I hope you enjoyed my review of my stepmom's daughter is my ex. If you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me out and let me know what you thought about the show in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.